Welcome to this tutorial on mapping vegetation cover using Google Earth Engine. In this video, we'll walk through a script that processes Landsat 8 imagery, removes clouds, and calculates the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, NDVI, to detect vegetation cover. We'll also explore the significance of forest cover mapping and geospatial technology in environmental monitoring. Let's get started. Vegetation cover mapping is a crucial tool in environmental science, agriculture, and urban planning. By using satellite data, we can monitor changes in forest cover, detect deforestation, and assess the health of ecosystems. Google Earth Engine GEE allows us to analyze large-scale satellite imagery with ease, making it a powerful tool for researchers and decision makers. Now let's dive into the script. We start by defining our area of interest and centering the map using Google Earth Engine. Next, we load Landsat 8 satellite imagery from 2024 and filter it based on location and time range. This ensures that we are working with relevant data. Since satellite images often contain cloud cover, we remove high cloud images using the cloud cover property and apply a cloud mask. Once we have a clean image, we calculate the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, or NDVI. NDVI is an important metric that helps us identify healthy vegetation. It is calculated using the near-infrared, NIR, and red bands of the Landsat image. To visualize the NDVI, we apply a color gradient where brown represents barren land, yellow represents sparse vegetation, and green represents dense vegetation. We then classify vegetation cover by setting a threshold. Areas with NDVI values greater than 0.3 are considered vegetated regions. Finally, we calculate the total area covered by vegetation in square kilometers. So why is vegetation cover mapping important? Here are some key applications of this technology. 1. Deforestation monitoring, detecting illegal logging and assessing forest loss over time. 2. Climate change studies, analyzing the impact of global warming on forests. 3. Agriculture and crop monitoring, Assessing crop health and productivity. 4. Urban planning, monitoring green spaces and planning sustainable cities. 5. Wildlife habitat conservation, protecting ecosystems that support biodiversity.
With Google Earth Engine, we can efficiently analyze and monitor vegetation cover on a large scale. Whether you're a researcher, conservationist, or urban planner, geospatial technology provides invaluable insights for sustainable land management. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more geospatial analysis content. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching.